Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. You can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel, Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now one more thing, the link of this Telegram channel is given in description and revision PDF are uploaded on this telegram channel so please check it from there now let's start start that is strategic arms reduction treaty is an agreement between which two countries so it is an agreement between usa and russia name of agreement is strategic arms reduction treaty as the name suggests it is a treaty to reduce the arms arms means nuclear arms so it is for reduction and limitation of strategic nuclear arms by usa and russia why it was in news because recently this treaty was about to expire now it has been given the extension and that is why it was in news this was signed in 2010 recently this was given extension now in the context of nuclear arms recently one more treaty was in news and it is treaty on prohibition of nuclear weapons so this treaty was adopted in 2017 by united nations now this treaty was in news because it entered in force that means it became effective from 22nd of january in 2021 so please remember this date 22nd of january in some exam they may ask you the exact date now the unique thing about this treaty or this international agreement is that it is legally binding and therefore it is the first legally binding international agreement to eliminate nuclear weapons completely recently russia was also in news because of open skies treaty as recently russia decided to quit this treaty after the exit of usa this open skies treaty was related to surveillance after prior approval from the other countries what is the name of rare martian mineral which has been recently discovered in antarctic ice name of this mineral is jarosite it was recently discovered in antarctic ice it is a yellow brown mineral and it is rarely seen on earth usually it is found on mars and that is why it is being called as martian mineral because it is found on mars on surface of earth it is rarely found but we discovered it on antarctic ice now recently hope probe was also in news it is a mission on mars and it is a mission by UAE that is United Arab Emirates recently China's first independent mission on Mars was also in news and it is Tianwen 1 recently UAE was also in news because of Abraham accord under Abraham accord USA played a key role in normalization of ties between UAE and Israel recently Israel was in news as Bhutan normalized ties with Israel recently Bhutan was in news because Bangladesh signed its first pta with bhutan pta stands for preferential trade agreement because bhutan was the first country to recognize bangladesh bangladesh became separate nation after 1971 indo pak war now this year that means in 2021 india and bangladesh are celebrating 50 years of diplomatic ties in fact this time on republic day ceremony tri service contingent of bangladesh participated in our republic day ceremony and in this republic day ceremony the tableau of uttar pradesh won the first prize the tableau of uttar pradesh was of ram temple what is the name of india's initiative to deliver covid-19 vaccine to the friendly countries the name of this initiative is vaccine matri under this initiative we are providing vaccines to the neighboring countries now in the context of vaccine for the overall monitoring of entire vaccination process the covin platform was launched apart from that recently an empowered group was constituted for covid-19 vaccine and this group is headed by mr arash sharma that is ram sevak sharma he is the former chairperson of tri that is telecom regulatory authority of india recently he was in news as he has been appointed as the next ceo of nha nha stands for national health authority so nha is the implementing authority of Ayushman Bharat Health Scheme recently NHA in collaboration with MHA that is Ministry of Home Affairs in collaboration with National Health Authority launched Ayushman CAPF so this is for Central Armed Police Forces that means this 
is a separate health scheme for the personnel of Central Armed Police Force (CAPF) are under Ministry of Home Affairs. Now, this NHA is also the implementing authority of National Digital Health Mission, which Indian state is to play the host of International Conference on Gender Equality. So, it is going to be Kerala. Recently, Kerala was also in news as first gender park is going to be in Kozhikode in Kerala. It, the event, that means the International Conference on Gender Equality is going to be in February 2021 and the Chief Minister will inaugurate this gender park at Kozhikode. Kerala was also in news because of Arya Rajendran. She is the youngest mayor of India and she became the mayor from the Trivanandpuram city in Kerala. Kerala was also in news as it was the first state to fix MSP for vegetables. It was also in news because of one school, one IES initiative. Under this initiative, a coaching facility will be provided to the poor students. Global Climate Litigation Report has been released by which organization? So it has been released by UNEP, that is United Nations Environment Program. Title of the report is Global Climate Litigation Report. So as per the report, the number of climate litigation cases around the world has almost doubled. UNEP is United Nations Organization. The headquarters of UNEP is in Nairobi in Kenya and it was founded in June 1972 and Please note that it was founded as a result of Stockholm Conference on Human Environment, which Indian company has emerged as the fifth strongest brand as per the Brand Finance Global 500 ranking. So as per this ranking, Reliance Zio is on fifth position. Reliance Zio is owned by Mr. Mukesh Ambani and it is the fifth strongest brand globally. Now this is very significant because Reliance Zio was founded only in 2016. So it is a new organization. Despite that, it has achieved this milestone. List is topped by WeChat. So WeChat is on top position. From Indian side, Reliance Zio is on top position. And overall, it is on fifth position. Ferrari is on second position. The World Gold Demand Trends Report is released by which organization? So it is released by World Gold Council. As per this council, the gold purchased by the central banks of different countries sharply declined in 2020 and the decline is approximately 60%. So you just need to remember the trend that in 2020 it declined. Report was released by World Gold Council. The headquarters of World Gold Council is in London in UK. Recently UK was in news as it is the host of COP26. It is going to be in Glasgow. COP25 held in Spain in Madrid under the presidency of Chile government. COP21 was also in news. This is the conference of parties where Paris climate deal came into existence. So this was held in 2015. Recently, USA decided to rejoin this Paris deal. Actually, the previous president of US, Donald Trump, announced that USA is not going to be the party in this Paris climate deal, but the new president has announced that they are going to join it. In fact, the ISA, that is International Solar Alliance, also came in picture during this COP21. Now answer in comment box, during this latest climate adaptation summit, Prime Minister mentioned that India will have capacity of how much gigawatt by 2030. This climate adaptation summit was hosted by Netherlands. Which country has requested for the debt restructuring at IMF under the new common framework. So this country is Chad, that is Republic of Chad, and it is a landlocked country in the North Central Africa. Now, first thing first, what is debt restructuring? Debt restructuring means you are not able to repay your debt. So you are saying that please change the terms and condition of this debt so that I can repay it. Suppose previously the interest rate was 5% and you had to pay it in two years. Now you are saying that no, I won't be able to repay it in two years. I need more time, say five years. So the debt will be restructured according to this plan. Obviously, you will have to pay more interest in this because you are taking more time to repay. So this is one simplest example of debt restructuring. Now, Chad has requested that IMF should go for debt restructuring in case of Chad because it is facing economic problems due to coronavirus. IMF is International Monetary Fund. The headquarters of IMF is in Washington, D.C. And the MD of IMF is Kristalina Jojiva. Chief Economist of IMF is Geeta Gopinath. 
which country has launched a new variant assessment platform this is a platform to monitor or to track the new variants of coronavirus this has been launched by uk recently a new strain of virus was found in uk uk was also in news as it is the host of g7 summit this year and uk has invited india australia and south korea for this uk was also in news because of d10 d10 is a group of 10 democracies this was suggested by uk as an alternate to reduce dependency on china for 5g equipments that means to reduce the dependency on china a similar initiative was started by three other countries it is scri that is supply chain resilience initiative and it is initiated by india japan and australia now apart from that japan was also in news because of five eyes alliance so this is a intelligence sharing group of five countries these five are canada usa australia new zealand and uk these are five countries now as per the media reports japan is going to be the sixth partner of this alliance so in one question we covered g7 we covered d10 we covered five eyes alliance and we covered scri that is supply chain resilience initiative one more thing india japan australia and usa are the part of quad quad is a quadrilateral security dialogue the most recent meeting of quad held in tokyo in japan and all these four countries participated in malabar exercise this year actually malabar exercise was started between usa and india later in 2015 Japan joined it as permanent member therefore it became a trilateral exercise and this year that means in 2020 India invited Australia to join it so for the first time all the quad members participated in this malabar exercise union cabinet has cleared a policy for the privatization of which of the following entities so for the privatization of PSU that is public sector undertakings union cabinet has approved a policy as per this policy government should completely exit from the non strategic sectors what does that means see there are two type of sectors non strategic and strategic so as per this policy government should not involve in the business related to non strategic sectors so government should exit from this in case of strategic government should have presence of one to four entities that means one to four psu that is public sector undertakings so as per this policy in non strategic sectors government should privatize and disinvest answer in comment box what is the difference between privatization and disinvestment which country has recently signed memorandum of understanding with international energy agency for strengthening cooperation in global energy security so for this purpose iea that is international energy agency has signed agreement with india why this agreement has been signed it has been signed for cooperation in global energy security now iea is a paris based organization it is in france it is a intergovernmental organization which was established on the framework of oecd that is organization for economic cooperation and development india is a associate member in this international energy agency now recently france was also in news because of one planet summit and during this summit a new initiative was launched and it is prezod answer in comment box what is the objective of this prezod so these were the most important questions now we are going to cover important news events so first is edison alliance edison stands for essential digital infrastructure and services network so this is a alliance which has been launched by wef that is world economic forum to reduce the digital divide digital divide means there is a divide between those who can assess the technology and who cannot assess the technology so to fill this gap this alliance has been launched by world economic forum and it will be chaired by that means this alliance will be chaired by Hans Westberg Hans Westberg is the CEO of Verizon WEF is World Economic Forum next is Ranji Trophy so it is a domestic cricket tournament it is organized by BCCI and it is organized since 1934 35 now for the first time in the history this tournament will not be organized this year because of coronavirus issue next is also related to cricket so BCCI secretary Jaisa has been appointed as the new president of Asian Cricket Council actually he has been elected as a new president of Asian Cricket Council Asian Cricket Council organize Asian Cup tournaments next is related to stars project so what is the full form of stars it is strengthening teaching learning and results for the states program so for this program world bank is providing financial support and this is a program for 
school education that means to improve the quality of school education so ministry of education has collaborated with world bank for this program next is chori chora incident so it is a name of place in uttar pradesh and during the non cooperation movement on 4th of february in 1922 indian people clashed with britishers and on this occasion that means on the completion of 100 years actually 100 years will be in 2022 So on the completion of 100 years a centenary event will be started and it will start from 4th February 2021 and it will go on till 2020 so one year event will go on that is why this chori chora incident was in here. and because of the violence in this incident mahatma gandhi stopped the non cooperation movement on 12th of february so couple of dates are important on 4th of february the violence started and then On 12th of February, Mahatma Gandhi ended non-cooperation movement. Next event is related to Bharti Airtel. So, it is the first telecom operator in our country to demonstrate 5G services. Recently, they started these 5G services in Hyderabad city for trial basis. Last is related to UNWTO, that is United Nations World Tourism Organization. So, as per this organization report, 2020 was worst year on record for tourism sector. Why? because of coronavirus and because of coronavirus the international arrivals dropped by 74 percentage so these were the most important news events now test first question is govind vallabh pant who was in news recently was the first chief minister of which state second question is national non communicable disease monitoring survey was released recently it was conducted during which year third question is what is melatonin fourth question is Rafael fighter jets are manufactured in which country fifth question is davos dialogue which was in news recently pertains to which organization and last question is in which country the mount merapi is located so that was all for the day thank you